Hey, what is going on guys? My name's Long Sensation and today we've got a few guys with some more Call of Duty Advanced Warfare information. Now for this video I'm going to be covering all of the information you need to know regarding the supply drops that will be coming to Advanced Warfare Multiplayer. So first of all there's going to be three different tiers from these supply drops. The first one being character gear, the second one being reinforcements and the third one being weapon loot. Now all of these kind of so-called tiers can actually be unlocked and actually have uh, different separate tiers as well as the kind of uh, tiers within themselves if that makes any sense. For example with character gear there'll be three other tiers which will be called enlisted which is kind of the more common items, professional which is midway and then elite which will be the kind of uh, best items within the game. For example if you unlock a supply drop you could get uh, a weapon loot drop which could give you a weapon but it would only be as an enlisted which would be a very very common weapon within that category. But this opens up a kind of brand new era to Call of Duty. For example the longer you play Advanced Warfare the more supply drops you will receive and therefore the more chance of being able to unlock the best items within the game. For example a player that plays 15 days throughout the cycle of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare multiplayer will have more better weapons, character gear and reinforcements than let's say someone that plays the game for just one day. So this is definitely a kind of brilliant feature that I'm really intrigued to find out how it's going to actually kind of work within the game itself. But a little thing to note, if you want to unlock all of the gear within the game, you'll also have to play the campaign because some supply drops will also be given throughout the course of campaign that you can then transfer over to multiplayer so that's something uh, that you guys may want to pay attention to but uh, moving on first of all character gear i want to quickly talk about all of these different tiers first of all character gear this is where you'll be able to unlock everything from helmets to boots to knee pads to exo suits which of course is really really cool definitely going to be interesting to see what kind of camos and stuff like that you can unlock but moving on to reinforcements which is a brand new feature this year well reinforcements basically is going to be a care package for the course of the game you'll be able to actually uh, use one of these reinforcements you've unlocked which could give you something like a perk maybe a kill streak which opens up a kind of brand new era for the kind of noobs of the game for example a noob that cannot actually get these higher kill streaks if they get a supply drop that will be a reinforcement uh, supply drop but will also be an elite version of the reinforcements they might unlock the so called best kill streak within the game and therefore will give them an opportunity to actually use that kill streak. So I think that's going to be a really really unique feature. One of the things that they did actually mention in the uh, reveal is that reinforcements are definitely going to be really really rare and really hard to come by. So of course it's not going to be that overpowered I hope but of course I will give you more information as we receive regarding the reinforcements. But finally moving on to weapon loot. Now this is definitely the most interesting thing that Advanced Warfare have revealed so far in my personal opinion. So what weapon loot is, it's basically where you can unlock different weapons. It won't be different weapons as such, but it's going to be variations of the weapons you've already unlocked. So within Advanced Warfare there's going to be around 35 different weapons and within these supply drops there's going to be 10 different variations of each individual weapon. So for example let's just take an AK-47 for example although this will not be in the game it's definitely the easiest to kind of uh, talk about and uh, you know kind of uh, compare to. So for example say I unlock the AK-47 at level 50. Now if I actually unlock Lock a supply drop and I open it I could get a variation of the AK-47 that could increase something such as the rate of fire maybe the accuracy but decrease something such as the damage so what this essentially means is that throughout the course of advanced warfare you're going to be unlocking different variations of weapons which may suit your uh, play style according to let's say the rate of fire the damage etc and this is definitely going to open up uh, a kind of more 
a bigger fun factor throughout the game cycle. So this actually means that throughout the game there's going to be a possibility to use 350 weapons within the game. So I'm definitely intrigued to see how this is going to work out. I of course I'm going to be grinding advanced warfare as much as possible, unlocking as many weapons as possible and telling you guys which are the best ones to actually use. But uh, moving on I just want to quickly mention I will have a video out in the next couple of days telling you guys all of the weapons that we currently know that will be in Advanced Warfare multiplayer with hopefully some gameplay so definitely stay tuned for that. I've just got a few hours of footage to run over and cycle through. But anyway guys that is pretty much it from me. If you did enjoy please be sure to leave a like and show your support. I've been Long Sensation, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Information that you may have actually missed during the reveal uh, itself. So in this episode, I'm going to be covering the EXO perks. This time we've got three different tiers, uh, which is kind of the traditional route. And this time we've got five perks per each tier. So